ओके हाय एनी मैम गुड इवनिंग हेलो गुड इवनिंग अनिल नाइस टू सी यू हियर सो आई थिंक दिस इज फर्स्ट टाइम या सो uh so anyway just tell me i don't know about you so can you introduce yourself a little bit so um i know a little bit about you right so tell us tell me yes of course why not my name is anil kumar and i'm from india and i'm a student of uh, graduation i am doing my graduation and my honors paper is english and uh, my hobby is to talking with my friends and making video for my youtube channel and because i like to talk to anyone in english okay and mm. if i talk about my goal so in my future i want to become a teacher so it's all about okay. myself mm -hmm. thank you yes uh, i am any from bali indonesia which is located in south east asia and i am here uh to brush up my english as well uh to work on uh, speaking skill so yeah uh actually i got nothing to do with english uh, because it is not related in my work so i'm here just to uh want to communicate with others because i live in bali which is uh, a place where a lot of people from all over the world uh, visit their uh, their place So yeah, uh, let me know. Uh, how long? How long have you been learning English? You start uh, get back to English. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have been learning English more than two years. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, how many group uh, belong to you? Belong to how many groups you join in? Oh, like on Facebook. On Facebook. Yes, on Facebook. Yeah, I think yeah, I think around two or three groups in that groups. Oh. I Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh. So along the way in learning English, in learning English, did you find something uh obstacle or maybe what, what uh part in learning English that you find difficult or is something that annoying you? Yeah. Sometimes like we get like some difficult word or sentence, like sometimes you know exactly like uh, any word or sentence. like does not come in our mind like whenever we are talking to anyone so sometimes it happens okay yes 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 you're right uh because we, you know when when we, we we learn through translator or google translate or maybe any dictionary is uh we have to drag into figurative meaning because when we we cannot learn word by word actually uh when you learning english we have to learn by chunks uh so yeah that's means uh, to uh, sound more a bit natural when you learn word by word it's going to be sound unnatural as a sound weird you know so anyway uh tell me about india so what's going on in india in india so what kind of custom in there uh so what the thing that make you happy that make you proud of your country yeah like we are so fortunate to be citizenship of uh, india because we are so lucky to be in india because um, i love my country and india like uh, there are like uh, all types of uh, religion all types of people like here living in india like muslim sikh isai hindu yeah and uh, we love together okay we love each other we live together yeah and uh, <laughs> we like uh, do all types of work with together because we don't hate from any religion okay like you are muslim or you are hindi hindu so i should not talk to you i should not sit with you no it's not like that like we love to everyone mm -hmm. yeah uh, so what what religion in india is a majority oh majority the major uh, the most people uphold which religion is it hindu or islam or buddhist maybe what what oh, religion aha uh -huh. hindu hindu oh so hindu oh, okay so the most people in india they uphold hindu religion is it all right yes mm -hmm. so that's why uh, i found that india has so many functions 
right? Yes. So many fun. Yeah, many and they fun. celebrate. Yeah, they celebrate many things. Celebration, celebration. So all the time, like they always happy. When I saw them like dancing all the time, singing, dancing. Uh, when so can you can you can you give me an an explanation why does someone i i saw on the maybe just on the in the movie or maybe they just come on in india when someone speaking or talking with each other they just like uh shaking their head like this sure. you know, shaking their head. yes uh, it's okay it's okay no problem no problem don't, don't. I understand. No problem. This is the environment. It's okay. There is kid out there, and I'm also here. It's no problem at all. Okay. Yeah, like you know, in India, like uh, we do like they very national celebration. They shaking their head when they speaking. What is that? Is it common in India? What? In uh, this is common in India when they speaking each other. They like shaking their head. You know. Shaking head like this, like this, you know, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Is that is that common or what? Is this like habitual or maybe their habit? No, this this is not like habit. Okay, but sometimes like like some people they do like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what about this? When in India, I so saw like a lady, they put mark in here, like red mark or sometimes like dot here, a uh, circle. Circle red sometimes in here, uh, in their forehead. Yes. Yeah. So what is that? What 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 the uh, determined by what is that? Just explain it, please. What is that? What sign? Uh -huh. You are talking about women, ladies. Yes. 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 Uh huh. Yeah. Like that is like you know that is like one type of things like uh, uh, when like married married women. Okay. Yeah, whenever like they are married, so after yeah, after the okay. so only married women they yeah. put a mark circle or red circle in here. So what about uh they when they did not marry yet? So maybe like teenagers, do they use you said that also? No? Yeah, teenagers they can also do, but uh, like uh, you will get like few people. Okay, like yeah, like yeah, like that. Like few girls or women, but after married, okay, after married any girl, they put uh, that type of like red, red, yeah, red. It. Okay. Oh yeah. So, uh, so the, what what about the the you know the outfit, the outfit every single day they 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 wear about women especially. Uh, do they all the time using like seed? They wrapping their body with seed and with uh, uh, their custom, like you know, specific specific outfit, Indian outfit. Is that uh, they they wear all the time in India? What what? About uh, Indian ladies outfit. Outfit what? means like dress, Indian <laughs> dress. So is that a specific one like you saying, tick? You know, just uh, a, a sit, a piece of clothes, you know, a set of clothes, and then they're wrapping their body. Uh, is it, I, I saw it in the movie. It's a bunch of family life. Hello? Yeah? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can listen to you, okay. So, yeah, about, the, about the custom, I mean about the dress, what kind of dress the women use or wear in daily life? Do they wearing like uh, clothes that they wrap, you know, like sheet on the body uh, as I saw on the movie? Is that, is that, is that happen in the, in the daily life? No, sometimes, sometimes they wear that type of dress. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is not, it's not all the time. This is not in daily basis then. So, okay, yes. all right. So maybe you want to ask me a question. Uh, now it's your turn because time flies. Uh, you can ask me a question as well if you want to know about something. Yeah, now you can tell me something about your country. 
Okay, so yeah, in my country, we teaming with Muslim people. We most of he, people here holding Islam religion, and we especially we here majority in Indonesia is Muslim. Muslim but yeah. as I told you that I was born as a Balinese. I I, I was born in Bali. Bali is small island, a part of Indonesia, uh, which is uh, like a tourist destination. And in Bali, uh, mostly people are whole Hindu religion in Bali specifically. Uh, but because Bali is in Indonesia, Indonesia majority is Muslim. Specifically in Bali is Hindu religion as the majority. Yeah, and then uh, uh, Bali people, they are mostly, uh, uh, their livelihood depends on the tourism. Uh, and uh, according to the situation, like COVID-19, it is like everything is like uh, falling down, you know, a fall apart because they like lost their job because of this pandemic. Nobody gonna visit anyone, uh, uh, some country or right? Nobody, uh, nobody like uh, doing travel. So that's why they kind of some people they lost their job, uh, but. When people who are working in government, they still survive. Uh, they still survive is because I think but the, the most people, uh, most people, they rely on uh, tourism as a livelihood in there. So that is uh, about uh, my 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 hometown, uh, my hometown. But actually, I live not in Bali. I didn't. I, I don't live in Bali. I live in another island. Um, I think about two hours away by plane in uh, another island. It's called Borneo. And Borneo is the biggest uh, island in South uh, Asia. So, yeah, that's it about my my homeland, my home city. And I visit, I visited when uh, I got a lot of money when uh, the money is enough for doing travel uh, when I feel like homesick yeah uh, I visit because my relatives live in Bali all of them uh, live in Bali so I'm here just uh, from for my own life uh, I start from the uh, from the scratch at a time so now yeah I'm, I'm here uh, for good that's meant for ever you know maybe just visiting my uh, homeland uh, when I got free, all right? When I get um, leisure time. So yeah, this is uh, a bit about myself, about my country as well. Anything else? Okay, great. So like, uh, uh, what about like uh, people's so like, how many types of religion people are living in your country? Like also Hindu and Muslim. Hindu, Muslim, Christian, Catholic, uh, and Buddhism. And Buddhist. the majority, yes, in Indonesia, majority is Muslim, and then Christian, and then uh, Christian, Catholic, and then uh, Buddhist, and Hindu. Hindu are only in Bali, the majority is in Bali, only, only that one island uh, uh, as a majority in, 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 in Bali, as the only uh, about Hindu people. So yeah, uh, maybe you can ask me about anything. Maybe you can talk of English as well. If you're already talking about each own country, and then maybe talking about English, uh, we have about maybe five minutes left. Okay, yeah. So tell me something like, uh, how can we improve our English? What should we do for learning English? Tell me something. Yeah. Uh, what What do you want to work on? Because we have a four skill like listening, writing, reading, and speaking. So which one do you like? Would you like to ask for? Yeah, I want to like uh, know about like uh, speaking. Like whenever we are speaking. talking to anyone. Yeah. So how can okay. we remove our hesitation? Ah, yes. Ah, ah, ah. All right. All right. So when you're speaking, uh, you will have to uh, train your audio. I mean, uh, listening a lot. The first one is listening a lot. You just don't mind. You understand or not. Just listening, listening. Uh, this doesn't mean that you take specific time. No, you don't have to. You just maybe if you are busy doing something and then you just listen to the uh, English song that enough 
as, as long as you uh, get in touch with English, right? So set your phone in English, listening English song, listening podcast, listening like uh, talk show, movie, uh, everything related to English. Don't don't you know? Don't don't set unrealistic goal. Be realistic. If you maybe for uh, you don't have this overwhelming yourself with, with learning, studying, you know, that is good. Everything start in learning. Uh, start with learning, I mean. So, but when you get bored, you just, you know, like 15 minutes for listening and then for reading, maybe 10 minutes. If you get bored, then listening music. If you get boring again, and then you get bored uh, or watching movie, just make it, you know, uh, you know, the likes, uh, uh, shifting, you know, shift your mood. Sometimes I, I'm, I'm just like boring listening to this podcast, for example, and then you can switch to another one. Just don't let yourself uh, lose interest, you know. Just keep going on something that interests you. So yeah. whatever the material would be, uh, find something that interests you because some people, in some point, they're going to get bored, all right? Uh, yeah, that's just about, uh, but one thing, if you want to uh, brush up your speaking skill or work on speaking skill, uh, you, you, you must be want to speak with uh, strangers, right? Strangers, when yeah. You want, when you want to learn, uh, that's why I post my video. Uh, I, I ask you to watch it. Why? Because uh, as a non-native speaker, we have to understand uh, people who live in native speaking countries, you know, yeah. at the first, how way you text them at the very first time when your text find annoying, that's going to be, they're going to don't want to talk to you because the way we speak, the way we're writing, they can recognize us where you're yeah. from, you know, about accent also are talking a lot about where you're from and also how your level Everything, you know, and when, we, when you're speaking. Uh, so that's why just try to understand because we can different angle of the world, different culture, different background, different perspective as well. So when asking a question, just avoid asking sensitive question. All right. Go kind of, how old are you? Never ever ask this stupid question. All right. Because this is, you know, for women, so some women, not I cannot generalize because people are different, right? Uh, some people, they don't want to uh, to tell their ages because maybe they look like older than their ages, right? So we have to respect, right? We have to respect. And then how or do you have a kid? Don't ask this way be, because why? What if that person just miscarried or just lost their loved ones? Just think about it. So just be very careful when you're asking something. So, for example, like this, send me this picture, send me your number. It's just like <laughs> a comment talking to the army, right? So then just find uh, the uh, polite way to polite. say something. Yeah. yeah. So before you're talking, before you're doing something, just think, you know, just look before you leave. So you can search on YouTube, you know, how to say something, to ask something in more polite way. You, yes. you have to work on it. So, for example, would you like, would you mind? If they mind, just don't force. Nobody can force anyone to do something they don't like. All right? Yeah. So, yeah, just paying attention on it. If you met uh, someone or in your country or your friend, you can also telling them this way. <clears throat> Sorry. Just be, just be, uh, try to learn manner before you get in touch with people uh, from all over the world, all right? Yes. So we don't have to make a mistake or in hot water, I mean, uh, having problems with them, all right? Because we just want to practice sometimes, you know, just be very careful. Learn on YouTube, many things. There are many things on YouTube. And you want to work on how to be polite in English, all right? And then you can search on YouTube, on Google, where, whatever. There are nothing is impossible nowadays. Because yeah, of, yeah. of the internet, all right? So I saw you, according to me, your vibe is good. You know, according to me, you have a good vibe. You got good intention in learning English. I saw you, before you talking something, 
I can see your face. Your first telling, telling me that you get a good intention to learning English and you are a polite one actually, but I think in my opinion, according to what I saw, you just need to brush up how to say something in English in proper way. That's it. That is yes. not just about you only. There are so many learners out there having yes. these kind of problems. Yeah. So, but I think with your good intention, I think you will you will get it one day. Maybe just floating along. I mean, maybe slowly, but it you will be there. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Just don't worry. You know, learning languages. Language is evolves, language evolves, you know, so that is, there is no end, there is no finish line in learning any languages. Yes, so, yes. so uh, you know, like now the slang is different uh, when you compare 10 years ago, maybe five years ago. So that's why uh, keep learning, you know, that is not just words, all right? Keep learning because language evolves every single day develop so we have also developed or to improvise in many angles of our uh, flow of our flows i mean so yeah nobody is perfect all right the- don't try don't try to be perfect if you try to be perfect your brain gonna overwhelming and you feel like you, oh i don't have any progress or oh, you just belittling yourself all right so just don't try to be perfect. Just be you who you are. That's it. Uh, work on pronunciation so people can understand instead of being, you know, all want to be like a native. What the fuck? Why you want to be native? Just be yourself, the best person of yourself. So people yes. can understand, you know? Yeah. People can understand. Everyone has their own accent, all right? But one day, day by day, you're going to be uh, fluent in English and your tongue going to fluent, you know, uh, and uh, producing the words. So people can understand more better, you know, I think say more better is it is incorrect. I should say better only more better is incorrect. So this is the way when I speak, you know, with confidence, people didn't notice that I was making mistakes, you know. Yes. Yeah. 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 Just join on teacher Jenny uh, meeting. You can listen many accent there. And then, uh, yeah, I think. That is not not take too long for you because Indian I know uh, more or less I know Indian uh, they speak uh, many people there speak English you know or, or uh, from all over the world India is the most uh, biggest um, uh, mound people who speak English right yes in yes India. yes right. yeah in yeah. India mm-hmm. so that's why you you I think you're gonna find speaking final easily. Because so many yeah. people there speak English. Yeah, I have got many friends from Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And then, you know, the first time you, it's no problem when you speak with non natives English speaking country people, right? But then when you boost your confidence and then you can try to talk with native one, right? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. It will be easy. So, it will be easy to talk with native speaker. Yeah, okay, that's good then. Yeah, that's great. So, yeah, thank you for your time. I think this is enough. Don't take too long because it's going to be boring conversation. It's too long. Nobody's going to watch it, you know? Yeah, but I want to I want to ask last question. Okay. Okay. Can, carry on. Mm-hmm. I, you can, yeah, you can tell uh, the some easy way to find uh, many English partners. Okay. Oh, to find English, <laughs> English partners. Just, uh, you know, when you join on the group, th- that is my way, you know, when I join on the group and then I engage myself in such conversation. Yes. And then that friend like teacher Jenny, for example, like teacher Jenny, I, I joined there. And then teacher Jenny posted anywhere, you know, in, yes. in, in many groups. But then people notice, oh, this is this guy, this is this lady, this is the woman. And then people going to. Uh, searching for me, searching my profile, and they come to me. I'm not searching for anyone, you know. I didn't searching for, for anyone, but they searching for me, you know. Even with native speaker, yeah, because yeah. they want to talk to you. They want yeah. to talk to you, so they will search. Yeah, right. Yes. Yes. You're right. So engage yourself then. 
you know, engage yourself in many, many conversations. And then you will uh, find speaking partner as well, you know, uh, just in the group. But for me, I got also from uh, Instagram, from Instagram. So yes. I when uh, I follow so many English teachers there, I got so many resources on uh, Instagram. When I can get a lot of knowledge uh, uh, for nourishment, my brain, and then I pour it down into group conversation and I yeah. apply there how to use this, how to use that. So that's why now teacher Jenny always asking me to bring up Indian's topic for every single conversation. So because I, yeah, Indian is my cup of tea, you know, I, I like it. I like so much so because that is the way my impro uh, I improvise uh, my English. That way I can gain, um, yeah, uh, like vocabularies and also how to manage air in a, a good sentences. You know, it is, it is not easy at all. When you're listening, when you understand, it's easy to understand. Easier to understand instead of to find a good example and how to manage to air in the words so people can understand your sentences. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you, you can join us as well. Maybe one day, Teacher Jenny put uh, link there. Oh, we're going to talk about India with Annie, and you can join too. You know? Yeah, yeah I will join. I will join. I hey, will... anyway, I can't come for my sister. So I got to go now. I'm so sorry for that. I got okay. to go. My sister. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you and nice to talk with you. And this is so nice conversation with you. I'm so much happy. Okay, enjoy your day. Bye for now. Okay, bye.